Hi, welcome at a new webinar series focused on the CLI for Microsoft 365. In the next few episodes, we will walk you through running the CLI and using its commands, showing sample scripts and help you set up an environment in case you want to help out and build new commands for us. Using the CLI for Microsoft 365, you can manage your Microsoft 365 tenant and SharePoint framework projects on any platform. So no matter whether you're on Windows, Mac OS or Linux, whether you're using BES, Commander or PowerShell, by using the CLI, you can configure your tenant and manage your SharePoint framework projects and build your automation scripts wherever you are. So what we did is, uh, or what we want to do is we want to walk through um, some samples, walk you through how to get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start by installing the CLI itself. What I did is I created a new blank Azure virtual machine. So I got a Windows 10 machine running in Azure. It's completely blank. There's nothing installed on it. Just so you can see there's no smoke and mirrors. And we're going to show you how to get started by installing the Microsoft 365 CLI. If you search for the Microsoft 365 CLI, you will see that we get a hit on GitHub where all the code is running and we get GitHub pages where we have sample documentation and some sample scripts and will actually help you get started. So if you go there, you'll see that we've got a user guide and that the user guide contains a installing the CLI explanation of all the things that you need to do. So as you can see here, we do have one prerequisite. We actually require you to have Node installed. So it's a blank machine, no Node yet. You can download both the LTS version and the current version. Uh, the only thing that I already did is download the file because I didn't want to wait, uh, well, for a perhaps slow internet connection. But basically what you'll need to do is you'll need to install Node. You can do the next, next, finish, accept all the default settings, or you can tweak it if you want. There's no need for that if you want to run the CLI, but you're completely free. Now, this is going to take a few seconds to actually load. So let me go back already to the documentation, because as you can see, once it is installed, uh, or once node is installed, it's the only prerequisite, and you can do install the CLI itself. As you can see here, it's finished, we're all good, and that means that Node is installed. So let's start PowerShell to see if Node is actually installed. And what you can do is you can do Node minus V to get the current version. And as you can see, Node has been properly installed, no problems, and we're all good to installing the CLI. And as you can see, the CLI is distributed as a Node package published on NPM. Uh, so you can use the NPM install, just copy it, you can paste it. This is going to take a second as well because it will download all the packages that we need. And once all the packages are downloaded, it will be extracting them, installing them, and all should be good. Now, as you can see here, if you scroll down a bit, we also allow you to use Yarn. So if you are uh, if you are using Yarn and you don't want to use NPM, you can copy that as well. So there's no problem. Um, and once you're installed, all you need to do is to check whether it's been properly installed. So as you can see here, this looks good. And if you look at the documentation, okay, the only thing that we want you to do is to make sure that the installation was successful is to say, hey, let's see what the current version is. And this will tell us that we, uh, if all is well, have downloaded the latest version. So we're all good there. That looks good. Now let's assume that you want to do anything with the CLI. You can now do things like help to see all the available commands to see what's actually there and as you can imagine if you want to use anything uh, if you want to do anything with sharepoint or anything with to do or yammer you actually need to be logged in and as you can see here the first thing that you will need to do is you will need to actually log into your office 365 tenant so once you have the cli enabled what you can do is you can do o365 you can do login and this will actually help you go through the process of logging in. As you can see, what you will need to do is you will need to sign in in a web browser, select this URL, paste this URL in here. It will ask us for the code. So, I, whoops, let me properly select it, copy it, provide the code. Then I can actually log in with an account. 
need to provide my username password. If you have MFA enabled, you will actually get a MFA challenge. But now in my case, well, I didn't have MFA enabled for my account, so I'm all good. And as you can see, you can close this window. So what I can now do is I can close it. And you can now see here that I could do things with O365. So what I could do is O365 SPO site list to get a list of all the available sites in my tenant. So as you can see here, all looks good. So that's basically it. What do we do? We installed Node, we installed the CLI, and we logged into the CLI to do actual commands from uh, your PowerShell window. And obviously, because we installed it, we could run it from Bass or we could run it from Commander, whatever you would have installed on your environment. And that's all you need to do to install the Microsoft 365 CLI on your environment.